How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Sick Eric Tech. Today we are going to be talking about the new Android 14 Beta 1, I believe, that's available for the certain Pixel devices. And I went ahead and installed it on my Pixel 7 and uh, 7 Pro. And we're gonna be talking about things that don't work on here, but then we're gonna be talking about some of the good things. So overall, the performance on here, this phone is snappy as hell just scrolling through here uh, opening up menus this is a very snappy phone performance i think definitely works a lot better on here as you can see the scrolling on here and switching between certain apps and things like that is just really really fast and i think the uh, performance is definitely improved on the pixel 7 pro and as far as that goes i haven't really noticed anything uh that changed aesthetically as far as uh different things on here now as far as the battery you do get a different battery indicator right here when it comes to battery usage instead of showing a little graph on there uh, now you have a, a bar on there that shows your battery and things like that so not much has changed i'm pretty sure some privacy things have changed on here as well but we are going to be talking about the things that don't work on here so i slapped the sim card in here and i've realized that 5g does not come on so if i turn off wi-fi uh, it won't show any sort of 5g indicator up here up top or lte but it does say connected 5g you see for t-mobile and for the most part internet does work i am able to watch you know a video on youtube but whether or not it's 5g i cannot tell or just regular lte and as you can see the signal is uh pretty low on there but um that's one of the things that doesn't work on here another thing is going to be wallpapers and styles it does tend to foreclose on you as you can see right there so that is another shame and this said there's a workaround to not have the theme icons on for a uh, pixel launcher so if you go into settings and then you go into apps see all apps show system and then choose pixel launcher and then you choose to clear storage on there which means you're gonna have to start all over again on your storage and then you go into wallpapers and styles then you're gonna want to not theme your icons and this seems to be a temporary fix for this feature on here so as you can see wallpapers and styles does work so if you want to make that work as you can see now i got to set everything back up on my home and on my launcher which is kind of annoying but wallpapers and themes does seem to work just do not have your theme icons turned on because that will break things on there so a nice fix glad that that's fixed uh now we got to work on the lg on the uh, 5g on here for signal and maybe it's just not showing the icon up there and it's actually connected who knows another thing that's broken on here is going to be your fingerprint sensor your fingerprint sensor is broken on this build facial recognition still works so that's fantastic but if you're going to unlock your device you're going to have to type in your pin in order to unlock your device so fingerprint sensor broken on here and wallpaper and theme seems to have a fix so that's fine awesome it's working just do not theme your icons and that 5g on there uh, either the signal the icon is not showing and you do have a signal i'm not quite sure but uh, like i said you are able to do stuff on here maybe it's just running on lte but those are the things so far that i've noticed with this device and with this android 14 uh, beta on here whether everything has worked on here so far uh, camera works just fine when you go into your camera all your zoom capabilities your portrait video uh, your regular video everything works for the most part that i've noticed haven't noticed any issues on here uh, hdr 10 4k everything seems to be working fine with the cameras so that's another good thing that everything works on here and uh, as far as everything else performance battery life is supposed to be improved as well with this new update and i have not charged this phone uh since yesterday when i installed the update and granted it's been on wi-fi ever since then but i'm at 52 percent and i think battery life is going to be a lot better on here you know if you didn't have any of those issues 
with uh, the beta on there. So we're just gonna have to wait till beta two comes out and hopefully everything goes well with that one. And if you want to install this, uh, I'll post a link in the description. If you're already uh, opted into the Android 13 beta, then there's no need to go in and opt in for the Android 14. It will automatically do it. So if you go into over here, I'll post a link in the description. As you can see right here, your eligible devices. I was already uh, entered into the program for Android 13. So all I had to do was go into settings and scroll down to system and then hit system update and it updated automatically to android 14 so no need if you're already on the beta for android 13 there's no need to opt in but i'll post a link in the description down below if you guys want to go and opt in and then once you're done with that give it a little bit of time and then go into your system settings and install the update and you should be ready to go so as far as that goes um there's also an article uh, that was posted about system changes and what has changed and what's not working. If I can find that right here. So yeah, the, this is where you get the potential workaround for your uh, Pixel Launcher. So yeah, that's fine. It did not mention anything about the uh, signal on here, but it does mention that and it does mention the fingerprint sensor being broken on Android 14. So other than that, Everything looks promising on here so far. Everything looks like more the same when it comes down to aesthetics and how everything looks. Uh, so far, I haven't noticed any differences or any tweaks on here. Everything pretty much looks the same when it comes down to Android 14 coming from Android 13. So that's fantastic. And yeah, it seems promising. Uh, we are getting close to uh, full updates. We're going to get some betas between April, May, and then come June and July. Line. So as you can see right here, uh, beta releases are April, May, and the beginning of June. And then platform stability is going to be June, July, and then final releases after that. So fantastic. We are on our way to Android 14 for the Google Pixel series devices, Pixel 7, Pixel 7 Pro, Pixel 6, and etc. So just wanted to quickly go on over some of the issues with Android 14 and how everything is going with this beta. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And I will see you next time here on Sick Eric Tech. Peace.